one of the most unique features of KCM 3911 is motion detection preset mode. Let's look at the example of NVR 2.3 to understand more how this function works. KCM 3911 has been added to NVR 2.3 here as a live view channel. It looks just like a conventional camera with the properly adjusted viewing angle and focus. As the person walks across the room, the camera automatically changes its viewing direction and tracks the person and captures all its activities on video. You see, as the person walks towards the right side of the room, the camera will still be able to trace the person. Now we have a clear evidence who has taken the trolley from the office. Now the manager comes to the room and finds out that the trolley is missing. They don't know who has taken it. However, we have the clear video evidence for that. As you see, as the manager uh, leaves the room, the camera will still be able to track even the motion of the manager. So now that you know how it behaves, let's see how to set this thing up. To set up a motion detection preset mode, we have to open web configurator of this camera. The KCM 3911 in our case has been installed on the wall with a tilt angle of 4 degrees. You may notice that our bitrate now is more than 2 megabits per second at this point. Please keep that in mind. Now we are switching the camera to the MD preset mode. In that mode the live view is no longer required on this page and you can see it disappears. Now let's move on to the main part which is the very purpose of having this mode. By just looking at specific region at one time, we will be able to lower the bitrate. I choose 750 kilobits per second. By this uh, setting, I will be able to save the storage and bandwidth a lot. And uh, that is the, the very idea of this mode. I only keep monitoring the moving objects. And you can see that the bitrate has already stabilized and uh, is below 750 kilobits per second. It's really good. So we are really able to have a very good video quality under these settings. As the name Motion Detection Preset Point indicates, this system consists of several preset points that can be defined on the live view page. First, I would reduce the size of the live video first before opening the PDZ tab. And now, by using the mouse on the live video, I will be able to select the locations for the preset points. You may notice that it is possible to navigate in any direction within the panorama view. And I can even zoom in if I, if I want to have a closer look of the objects. And there is a nice feature. It is rotation. I can adjust the rotation angle so that this video angle really looks like a view from a conventional camera. And now I'm going to set this as a preset point left. I click on this button once, type the name of the preset point and click again. And it's done. Now we'll move on to the center. And here I have a, a valuable here. That is the trolley with some important goods on it. So I'm going to mark this area as a preset point too and I'll call it middle. So this will be the most important area for my system. And finally we move to the right side and there's another door. Well, when there's a door there's always a risk that somebody might enter the door. So we have to have a coverage for that as well. And may that region be named right. So I press the button, type right and press it again. And here it is done. All the three regions are done. I close the window and go back to the setup page to set up the motion regions. And now I will open the setup page and go to the motion detection area. 
And you may notice that it looks a bit different than a conventional motion detection region of ACTI camera. So here I would start with pressing the setup so that I can activate the regions that I want to cover. And then I will change the size of each region to match with the area of my interest. So for example, I set one region over the, the left door and the, the priority will be set as one, which in our case is the lowest priority of the three. The priority is needed for the case when three, several regions are being activated at the same time so that the camera has a guideline to, to decide which region is more important for the live view for the given moment. So that uh, I will do the same now for the regions 2 and 3. Let the region 2 be in the middle and the region 3 on the right side and then I'll adjust the sizes of these regions a bit and then I will adjust their settings as well you may notice that the, the timer or the trigger interval for, for these items are all 5 seconds so priority will be 3 for this uh, region number 2 which is the highest priority and the right side will be priority 2 so I consider the center of my view as the most important region so it should be always having the highest priority in case of multiple motion at the same time and uh, 5 seconds is the, the trigger interval so which means that that the video will at least be staying on that position for 5 seconds as long as that video has a high priority so let's now move on to the NVR part and we're gonna add this camera there manually it's very easy to do. My, the IP address for this camera is with a 100 ending which is the default IP of ACTI cameras. By pressing the get device settings I will be able to get the live view from 3911 and everything else is there already I don't have to change anything. I'll just press apply now uh, for this channel and that should be it. It is now saved to NVR and I will be able to move on to the live view page and uh, be able to see the stream from KCM 3911. Well, uh, this is pretty simple so far. You can see now the channel has appeared. I just drag the channel into my live view layout and that's how it looks. The camera is now standby on the motion detection preset mode. Thank you for watching.